Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Wednesday, 1st of February 2023. This trade was shared by Ren or Global Instructor and Programmer who's trading S&P 500 in form of CFD here. As you see, his macro is showing that the price reached support area and got rejected and is coming back. So we can see in a trading chart as an uptrend channel here clearly and that channel here which you can see it also in a structural chart and they are aligned and shows high probability trading area uh, after completion of pullback in third year based on algorithm one to five with proper stop loss and targets and reach the profit so thank you Ren for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by Castro or global instructor trading gold usd and this is one minute trading chart that shows that the pullback got completed and because this is within the uptrend channel of the higher time frames and high probability trading area after this pullback and retest at this point he entered here with tight stop loss and is now managing the trade and reaching the target almost there so he just reached the target with very good risk to reward ratio so thank you Castro, for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those i have taken during new york market session and the video was sent to a student yesterday and i'm gonna replay that for you hello everyone i'd like to share with you my trades taken on the wednesday 1st of February 2023 trading uh, Nasdaq derivatives and Russell's and uh, sometimes S&P 500 and Dow Jones e-mini futures and micro futures so you see here that the market uh, when it was opened let's look at the daily it was very kind of trendy market so far and it's reaching uh, previous level of the uh, resistance so that's reason we see a lot of volatility and shadow before it can break here or reverse so on hourly chart you can see what market has done on globex level it retested and went down to the previous level of the close and low and it went back again and it's now uh, reached this high level and as you see here it tries to break that and couldn't but anyway when market opens New York time that I'm trading it was here and let's open this to see better 930 <coughs> so around here uh, it was fluctuating here we had several major news so really the volatility was high there was news before market opens and just 15 minutes after there was a final PMI so that was disturbing the market and increasing the volatility also 10 o'clock so it's not a good time for beginners to trade anyway uh, I could use the smaller chart to use one minute and 10 second chart to take advantage of a small trends that are formed within uh, this kind of sideways and highly volatile so here market started testing this level and uh, began to go up and retest the previous day close and high so that created uptrend opportunity in my channel uh, which is here so you can s draw this channel here uptrend channel so i took long positions repeatedly on this channel which is in fact this level that broke here as you see this level broken here this creates uptrend here and there's opportunity up to uh, previous day level of close so this three candle in fact was taken this three candle when the market open was taken and that was also on micro nasdaq and nasdaq depends on the account size and also russell because russell is also as you see these two few candles here uh, that are i think 10 15 minutes this candle this bullish candle was taken so the result of 
each of these trades were copied by different ratio on multiple funded accounts and uh, let's look at the data so average profit factor was 28.7 uh, because the win rate was very high 92 to 100 percent mostly from long side that I took position and average win to loss ratio is 2.3 and you see that the largest winning trade was 145 and the largest losing trade is 114 so all these accounts together uh, that provided the total profit here had only drawdown of 140. So thanks for your attention and hope this trace taken by the path system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.